By watching Fern Gully, you're seeing something that's kind of disappeared a bit, and that is the century of hand-drawn animation art. When everything was lovingly, literally hand-done, we drew everything, and then people hand-painted everything. And I remember holding the animation cells in my hand and having our whole department that would clean them and polish them before they went under camera. I really felt that that care, you know, almost appeared, you could feel it on the screen, the fact that hand-done animation was so tangible and so real. It's remarkable to look at this movie and realize that there's 16 tons of artwork in the movie. There's like hundreds of thousands of drawings and paintings and cells that went into making this little movement that you see on the screen. And it's kind of mind-blowing to think that that's the, the art behind that and the artist behind that. But it's starting to incorporate computer animation. The leveler and all these other things were actually done by computer graphics, and we use computer graphics to plot a lot of the motion, like the batty flight cycles and things. But also, it contains one of the very first digitally painted sequences, the batty wrap, where we didn't paint the cells. We actually did the painting digitally. So Fern Gully is sitting right there at the historical transition from the old way to the new way, and Fern Gully contains them both in a way that we think is invisible but effective.